Hey there, it's Rhea. Today's video is about versant practice for part C of the exam. This is a mock versant test that I simulated on my own for practice purposes only. The test items may or may not be part of your actual test. Also, please note that my accent and intonation will obviously be different from that of the versant speaker in your actual test. If you haven't watched my two-part video series about Versant, I suggest you watch them as well to learn more before you practice. Check the description box below for the video links. In this task, you listen to spoken questions and answer each question with a single word or a short phrase. The questions do not presume any knowledge of specific facts of culture, geography, history, or other subject matter. They are intended to be within the realm of familiarity of both a typical 12-year-old native speaker of English and an adult who has never lived in an English-speaking country. Usually, you will be presented with 24 questions. Quick tip! Obviously, it's important that you get the right answer, but even when you don't exactly know the answer, say something. Don't stay silent. Are you ready? Your test starts now. Part C, questions. Now please just give a simple answer to the questions. For example, a voice says, will you get water from a bottle or a newspaper? And you say, a bottle, or from a bottle. Are oranges and bananas fruits or vegetables? Which is more like stone, cement or rubber? What season comes before spring? Does a tree usually have fewer trunks or branches? What's the adult form of a puppy? Are potatoes and tomatoes fruits or vegetables? How long did the Hundred Years' War last? What are tires usually made of? The Canary Islands are named after what animal? What color is a purple finch? Upon what hill was the Battle of Bunker Hill fought? Who is buried in Grant's tomb? Who is your dad's sister's son? Who is my mom's brother's daughter? Would a person you like be considered as a friend or a foe? Are your blood relatives your friends or your family? Do animals have feet or paws? Are rivers natural or man-made? Does paper come from dirt or trees? What would you find in an ashtray? Are bottles used for carrying liquids or solids? When walking from point A to point B, instead of taking a right, a left, Another left and then a right, which direction could you take to arrive at your destination? How many legs does a tripod have? How many wheels does a car have? Want more practice? Continue watching. What would you call a two-wheeled cycle?
What are the colors of the American flag? What would you call a sanctuary for birds? Where would you find live animals? In a museum or at the zoo? What would you keep your pet bird in? A tank or a cage? What do you call a large fish tank? What are people from Texas called? What language is spoken in China? What do you call people from France? Do you fill a pen with blood or ink? What do cars run on? Gas or water? Do horses banter or canter? Are ancestors from the past or the future? Is your forefather from the past or the future? Would your child be from the previous generation or the next generation? Are wires used for carrying electricity or heat? What do you call a baby horse? Which is a good conductor of electricity, rubber or metal? What would you call a group of ships? What would you call a group of cattle? Is the word everyone used to denote a group of things or people? Would a baby sleep in a shed or a crib? Would you park your car in a garage or a carriage? What is another word for regular wages? What is the instrument used for measuring temperature? What do you use to write on a blackboard? For more practice videos, remember to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so that you'll be notified when I have a new video. Thanks for watching!